Welcome to the captivating world of One Life to Live, a groundbreaking television series that has left an indelible mark on the industry. Its enduring qualities have made it a timeless symbol, prompting us to ponder what elements have cemented its status as an everlasting icon in the vast landscape of television. As we delve into the world of One Life to Live, you might find yourself reminiscing about the first time you tuned in. Whether it was decades ago or a more recent discovery, the series has a way of etching itself into the memories of its viewers. Now, let's take a moment to reflect on your most cherished memory or personal experience associated with one life to live. Was it a dramatic plot twist, a memorable character, or perhaps a storyline that resonated with you on a profound level? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below, creating a space to celebrate the impact this series has had on its audience. But before we jump into your narratives, let's set the stage with some intriguing facts about the show. Did you know that One Life to Live made its debut in 1968, introducing audiences to a world filled with complex characters and compelling narratives? Over the years, it evolved into a cultural phenomenon, leaving an indelible legacy in the realm of daytime television. Now, it's your turn to share your experiences, memories, and reflections on One Life to Live. We eagerly await your contributions in the comments below, fostering a community of fans who appreciate the richness and impact of this iconic series. In 1968, the TV series One Life to Live debuted under the original title Between Heaven and Hell. The show's journey unfolded with various intriguing elements, one of which involved a notable prop during the 1988 Eterna storyline. Notably, the production team went to great lengths, obtaining actual well-drilling equipment. Interestingly, the men responsible for excavating characters from the underground city weren't actors. They were hired well-drillers, adding a touch of authenticity to the narrative. Amidst the drama and plot twists, a curious rumor circulated about Star's middle name, Irie. Despite its circulation, the show never officially mentioned this detail, leaving fans to ponder the validity of the speculation. One Life to Live continued to capture audiences with its unique blend of storytelling, occasionally venturing beyond traditional showbiz boundaries. The utilization of real well drillers for a storyline showcased the dedication to authenticity, distinguishing the series in the realm of daytime television. In summary, the 1968 TV series One Life to Live, initially titled Between Heaven and Hell, left an indelible mark with its inventive approach to storytelling. From mysterious character middle names to the use of genuine well-drilling equipment, the show ventured into uncharted territory, captivating viewers with its distinctive narrative choices. One Life to Live, a groundbreaking daytime drama that began its journey in 1968, holds a unique distinction in the realm of soap operas. As the last American daytime soap opera taped in New York City, it marked the end of an era in the vibrant history of television dramas. The show bid farewell to the city that had been an integral part of its production, symbolizing a shift in the landscape of daytime storytelling. In 2010, a pivotal relocation took place when All My Children, a fellow soap opera, moved its production to Los Angeles. One Life to Live seized the opportunity and set up shop in AMC's former studio at 320 West 66th Street in Manhattan, New York City. This move signified a commitment to its roots and a determination to continue captivating audiences with its distinctive narrative choices. One of the most remarkable aspects of the show unfolded in 1988 with the creation of the Great Hall of Eterna. This monumental set, standing at 32 feet high and boasting a 360-degree design, set a record as the largest ever created for a daytime drama. The sheer scale of this set demanded a separate studio, highlighting the logistical challenges and the dedication of the production team to deliver a visually stunning and immersive experience to the viewers. As One Life to Live navigated through decades of storytelling, from its inception in 1968 to the relocation in 2010, and the grandeur of the Eterna set in 1988, it left an indelible mark on the landscape of daytime television. The show's ability to adapt, innovate, and maintain a connection to its roots solidified its place in the hearts of fans, making it a true trailblazer in the world of soap operas. 
In a surprising turn of events, the production of the 1968 TV series One Life to Live faced a significant challenge in March. According to Abby Schiller, Vice President of Media Relations for ABC Daytime Television, the crew had meticulously planned, taped, and edited a storyline involving a high school hostage situation. This narrative was set to unfold across 17 different episodes in May, affecting all the characters in the show. However, in the wake of the Virginia Tech massacre, ABC's top executives made a swift decision to pull the plot, recognizing the sensitivities surrounding such a theme. The scrapped storyline sheds light on the dynamic nature of soap opera production, where real-world events can reshape fictional narratives. The pivot away from the high school hostage situation underscores the industry's responsiveness to societal concerns and the commitment to crafting content that respects the audience's sensibilities. Interestingly, these behind-the-scenes decisions not only showcase the challenges faced by the production team, but also provide a glimpse into the show's evolution over time. One life to live's ability to adapt to external circumstances while maintaining its storytelling integrity speaks to its resilience and commitment to delivering engaging content to its audience. This incident is just one example of the intricate processes involved in bringing a long-running soap opera to life, highlighting the delicate balance between creative expression and societal responsibility. As we delve into the annals of One Life to Live's history, these behind-the-scenes insights offer a compelling perspective on the show's enduring legacy. Nathan Fillion's reflection on his time on the show, as mentioned in the DVD commentary for Dr. Horrible's Sing Along blog, adds a personal touch to the exploration of the series. Fillion's humorous take on the significance of a character's butchanity provides a unique angle, connecting the actors to the fictional world they helped bring to life. In conclusion, the 1968 TV series One Life to Live, marked by its resilience and adaptability, offers a fascinating journey through the intricacies of soap opera production. From navigating sensitive storylines to the humorous reflections of its cast members, the show stands as a testament to the ever-evolving nature of television drama. As we bid adieu to the captivating tapestry of emotions woven in the 1968 TV series One Life to Live, let's embark on a journey of introspection. This timeless tale of love, betrayal, and resilience has left an indelible mark on our hearts, prompting us to ponder the intricacies of our own lives. As the final credits roll, I invite you to reflect on the moments that resonated with you, the characters who became companions in your living room, and the narratives that mirrored the ebbs and flows of your personal journey. One Life to Live was not merely a show, it was a mirror reflecting the myriad facets of the human experience. In this digital age, where connections transcend time and space, Share your cherished memories, your favorite characters, and the scenes that left an everlasting imprint on your soul. Whether through a comment, a post, or a conversation with fellow enthusiasts, let's celebrate the enduring legacy of one life to live together. Your thoughts are the threads that weave the ongoing narrative of this timeless series, creating a tapestry that extends beyond the confines of the screen. Thank you for investing your time and emotions in this remarkable journey. Your reflections are the true testament to the impact of storytelling on our lives. May the memories of one life to live continue to resonate in the corridors of your mind, a gentle reminder of the beauty and complexity that defines our shared human experience. Until we meet again in the realms of nostalgia, thank you for your time and interest.